Hey there, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna run Minikube on Amazon EC2. We're gonna set up all the prerequisites and we're gonna run an application exposed via Ingress. First, we're gonna create an EC2 instance. We're gonna set up Docker, kubectl, Minikube, Apache HTTP for a reverse proxy because Ingress is exposed on a private IP. And this is a really simple way to do that. We're gonna install Git also to be able to pull an application. So next we're going to deploy an application on the Minikube cluster and then we're going to set up the reverse proxy for ingress. I'm in the EC2 console, let's launch an instance. Let's name it test. Let's pick Amazon Linux 2 and T2 Micro won't work. We need at least two cores to be able to run Mini Minikube. So we're going to pick T2 Medium. We're going to select proceed without a key pair. We're going to allow HTTP. We're going to go to advanced. User data. Here is where you can add scripts to run once when the machine is being created. I have something prepared. We should install all the prerequisites. Don't worry, I'll go over this in a bit. For now, let's launch the instance. Let's go over the user data script. Not a banner, you can run this line by line by connecting to your instance. Not a banner, you need sudo or admin privileges to run some of these commands. First, we update yum, then we install Apache HTTP and enable it. Then we install and enable Docker, we grant EC2 user privileges. We install kubectl, we install minikube and we install git to be able to pull an application. Our instance is now running, let's connect to it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're first gonna clone an application. Then we're gonna start Minikube. Not a pen when you're using Minikube with Docker, you cannot start it by putting it in user data. This is because everything that you put in user data is run as an administrator and you cannot do that with Minikube when running with Docker. You could do it with code deploy, but that's a story for another day. Let's deploy. CTL get bots. Everything is starting. Let's enable ingress. kubectl get ingress. Okay, we see it's here and it has this address. We need a reverse proxy to expose this to the web. Let's create a variable with this address and let's update HTTP conf. We are enabling reverse proxy and this is where we are proxying to. Here are our lines, this looks good. Then we need to restart HTTP D. Let's go to EC2. Instances. Let's find our instance. Let's find the public IP address. Hope it's working. Yes, great success. Thank you. I hope you liked the video. I will put in the description everything that you need and a link to a repository where you can view all the scripts and CloudFormation scripts as well if you'd like to try that on. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.